couple things that I want to get into is binds. I just pressed the bind, put all those commands in, I'll put it in the description. Headler, uh, that's just how fast you return to your center from all viewing. Put on one, that's default, pretty slow. And then press the bind. That basically all my startup commands. It's just FPS stuff basically. Uh, nothing that isn't in there. I think the default is 5,000 or something insane to show players 90 meters. You don't see people from 5,000 meters away. You don't even get to be 5,000 meters away and shoot a bolt that still renders. I have it on 500. You could probably turn it down to like 300 and you still won't even notice a difference. And then these two, I mean, there's no point in having them up unless you're on all already. Uh, SMA smooths things out, but it kind of blurs it. If you have a lower uh, monitor, like 1080, probably worth it. Uh, controls, six. Okay, huge on this. Nobody ever presses anything past five. No point in having it if you're never gonna use a slot. So might as well rebind it to something like ZXC, something like uh, you would use for like Fortnite building, maybe like the side mouse buttons. And then audio. I see so many people struggle where they go in the game and they go, oh, well, I'm shaking. And then I remember I used to do this so much. I used to do like 8.75 and I would do it right, bef right before the drop and then I would put it back. No point, just have a bind. With your uh, console, you can make it very accurate, like bind J audio. Uh, master and then I want to I think I have an A right now yeah A and then I have L to put it on 0 0.01 because you know if I'm AFK I still want to be able to hear something. Game sounds uh find what works for you mine's on 0.165 uh bass boost I'll put in the description I uh, download this first then download this this just groups like your audio files and stuff here's what mine looks like you want to just the bottom numbers I think these yeah frequencies you can change them if you know what you're doing if you don't Please don't. Uh, click save, put it there. If you want to turn it off and like you don't like it anymore, do not delete it. I've had people delete it. They'll have to factory so the computer messes up everything. Uh, just click this. If you don't like it, just do that and never turn it back on. It's not like default on or anything. Uh, and then, you know, my graphics. Oh yeah, inventory player model, that's another important one. I, this is like a while ago, but when it first added like a ton of lighting, completely messed up my FPS. I think I would drop 40 to 60 FPS every time I open my uh, thing. I have it on now, but you know, it's it helps with FPS when it's off. Controls, don't have an ADS sense anymore. It's it's like, what, almost two years since old recall. You don't need that anymore. Now sensitivity uh, should probably be lower than your DPI because it's different like coding, I think, or something. I don't remember how it works, but it skips a lot of pixels on your screen when you do this. It doesn't when you use your DPI, so have it lower. Uh, the closer your in-game sensitivity is to your DPI, the most smooth the transition would be for like looting stuff, so the faster you can be at looting. Uh, you buy a skill, that's important. The lowest you can go is 0.5, default to 1. 1 is horrible. Everyone, if you haven't changed your UI scale yet, you are completely hindering your performance. It's actually the worst thing in the game, 1. 0.65. I recommend it. Uh, run the FPS back in edit menu. You can have those off. I only do it because I like editing with my game open. I think master's tied to voices. There's another one, radiation. So having your voices, like, like if you have high master volumes, have low voices. Uh, everyone already knows about this, but graphics.vm FOV scale. Having it on true makes it tied to the default, uh, which is 70 FOV. So having it on false makes it tied to your FOV. So I put my FOV on like 70 right now, and you notice my gun gets a lot closer to me. Horrible. Having it on 90 gets further. Uh, GC buffer, do not mess with the setting. Defaults on as high as you can go. Any lower just ruins your FPS. Defects, SMA, only one out of these that really like is worth anything. Moves things out. Uh, if you have like 1080p, you definitely should use it. I use 1440 right now, so it's not a big deal. Crosshair, default crosshair is not bad if you have a low UI skill, I think, right? Yeah. Use crosshair X. Here's my crosshair. Hopefully it shows up. I'll put this up just in case it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, if you end up using Crosshair X, use game bar mode. You'll have to like download off like the Windows App Store and stuff. Or the Microsoft App Store, whatever it's called. It'll probably take you like two minutes. Notice that it's like slightly off-centered with lower reses. So if you use 1080p, use game bar mode. But yeah, most of this stuff's personal. Don't use 1080 by 1080. I hate it so much. Look at that. It's like a ton of smudges. Everything's so horrible looking. Stretch res. If you're just starting out, use 4x3. That's 1440 by 1080. Uh, I think it's from 1080 to 1440. It's 1 1.333. Stretch res. If you're aim trading and stuff, very important to use stretch res. People don't. Don't know why. It lets you see your errors. It can more stretched out. Lets you see how much you can miss. I use, a, I use a 1x1 res, 1080 by 1080 or 1440 by 1440. Um, don't use 1080 by 1080. Yeah. Uh, I just did the math. 1440 by 1440 and native on a 1080 monitor 
are the exact same pixels rendered. So I'm actually not getting worse FPS. The game to be really stretched. You should probably upgrade your monitor. Um, also, if you have less than 144 hertz, get more than that. If you're on a laptop, that's fine, but you just probably won't be that great. Here's the difference between with and without base boost. Here's without base boost. All right, now turn on base boost. I mean, for me, it was like a, for me, it was an easy decision. Like, All right, another thing is a uh, shader level. I think it's like above 230, below 250. I think for snow and desert, it like makes it look more barren uh, and you can see people more clearly, but it does have like a slight impact on FPS. So I just ended up turning it off. Okay, I forgot about reshade. Uh, let me show that real quick. All right, reshade, technically bannable. There's no server is gonna ban you for making your game more vibrant colors. No one's gonna ban you for that. It's not like filters or makes you see at night. It's just to make your game look a little bit better. Here's how to download it. Uh, it's gonna be in the description. You click this, download. Then you down here, download reshade 6.01. Uh, and then uh, rest DXD. Not the client. Only works for Windows 11. Uh, yeah. Next. Oh. All right. Finish. Simple play. 